Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. It was the worst kept secret this year that Ram would be introducing their all new pickup trucks at the Detroit Auto Show and they did. All new design inside and out, more efficient powertrains and of course, less weight. Our first full look, coming right up. With weight savings being the key trend in full-size trucks these days, the 2019 Ram 1500 stays the most conservative in its dieting compared to Chevrolet and Ford, with a maximum of 225 pounds of weight savings over the previous generation by staying the course of a steel-intensive body. The design, however, is all new from the ground up with a fresh new face design that will feature more differentiation between trim grades than ever. The Ram letter grille now blends seamlessly into the headlight designs that range from basic halogen to full adaptive LED units. A bolder hood and fenders now look much more muscular than before, all coming together to be the most aerodynamic Ram pickup ever, yet it still looks like the big rig. In spite of its lighter weight, the new 2019 Ram 1500 has grown in size up to 4 inches in length and 5 inches wider. The bed sides are now 1.5 inches taller, which gives more space to the cargo box as well as the optional Ram boxes on the sides. Taillights come standard with halogen bulbs and LED on upper trim grades. Aluminum is now used in the rear tailgate, which now has gas targe assist for opening and closing. Across the trim grade, some 16 new wheel designs are available from 18 to 22 inches in size, and you might notice they've now moved to a 6-bolt lug pattern. The interiors are also completely rethought with new design and higher quality materials and premium upgrades like an available panoramic sunroof. There's also a lot more space by way of the size increase, most of which comes to the cab size front and rear. Big news is the center stack control center available now with a 12-inch portrait format infotainment touchscreen system. With split screen design, it's reconfigurable to several layouts for audio navigation, system information and more. Behind it is an available 900 watt Harman Kardon audio system with 19 speakers and a 10 inch subwoofer. Woof! A new bank of assignable toggle switches for accessories is available along with a wireless charging dock and up to 5 USB ports for charging and connectivity. It's not all about the toys though as the new cabs have more room than ever before. For instance, the second row seats can now slide and recline. They can also fold for a flat load floor and have expandable underseat storage. The center console also gets redesigned with even more storage area than before and now more customizable in how you use it. When it comes to capability, Ram up the ante in all realms of powertrain and chassis to increase the maximum payload to 2,300 pounds and trailer towing to 12,750 pounds, obviously when option to do so. This starts with an all new frame made of 98% high strength steel that alone is up to 100 pounds lighter than before. A new independent front suspension features weight-saving plastic upper and aluminum lower control arms along with electric rack and pinion power steering. The front brakes are now the largest in class at 14.9 inches in diameter with a new electric parking brake added at the rear. Yeah, I said a plastic upper control arm. You didn't hear me wrong. Suspensions do remain coil sprung at the front and rear with a fully automatic air suspension available as an option. When you add the 4x4 off-road package, you now get a 1-inch factory lift with an electronic locking rear differential among other things. When it comes to powertrains, Ram again stayed the course when it comes to technology, choosing to upgrade existing engines with a new mild hybrid system instead of reinventing the wheel. Both the 3.6 liter V6 and the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 return along with an upgraded 8-speed automatic transmission. With a new e-torque belt drive motor generator and a 48 volt battery pack stowed behind the rear seat, the engines now benefit from additional short-term torque assist and regenerative braking along with an auto start-stop function. The 3.6 liter V6 now has 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque with an additional 90 pound-feet from the electric motor when it comes on. The new 5.7 liter Hemi V8 has 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque, gaining an additional 130 pound-feet of electric torque in short bursts. As a result, both engines should see up to a 10% increase in fuel economy, says Ram. If you're wondering about the 3 liter Eco Diesel, that engine will be along a little bit later in 2019, revised, and while power figures haven't yet been released, we're told that they're going to better the competition from Ford and Chevrolet in their new half-ton diesel pickups. 
Since crash safety has been a concern with the current generation Ram 1500, the new frame design features key design changes including splayed frame rails and high strength steel blocking plates to push the front wheels outward in a small offset crash. How it will actually perform we'll know later down the road. The 2019 Ram 1500 will be built at the Sterling Heights, Michigan plant and goes on sale later this year. Pricing and full specifications will be along closer to that time. All right, my friends, staying the course. I think that's what they've done here. They've not reinvented the wheel like Chevrolet did, like Ford did a couple years ago. They stayed with styling. That's, well, pretty much what we would have expected with some evolution. Powertrains we've come to know and understand, except that new e-torque system that's standard across the board. That'll be interesting to see how people accept that, how people pick that up, and how it actually performs. The Eco Diesel. 2020 model year more than likely or late 2019 model year and the rebel of course does return we've got an entire separate video on that and you can see that right there on a detroit auto show playlist a lot of big news from ram this year as well as ford and chevrolet when it comes to trucks and also subscribe to our youtube channel right there because whatever you do i'll always tell you what i think